According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, there's been a 25% drop in meat production. However, good news is, looks like we have plenty of meat here today. LA Opera also loves to produce educational programs and outreach events to keep all of the Los Angeles community engaged in opera. Some of these protesters have signs that say Trump 2020. Some of these signs say reopen California. We're protesting the apocalypse. We demand that California reopen. The rain has stopped, but the pandemic remains. So many college seniors are mourning the loss of their last semesters of college and postponed graduation ceremonies. LA Opera, like many other performing arts institutions, have had to cancel their in-person performances as well as their concerts this season. As of March 19, 2020, Governor Gavin Newsom has ordered a shelter in place for California residents. Protesters want Reuters to stop assisting ICE agents in locating and tracking of immigrants. Reporting from Santa Clarita right here in front of Stater Brothers, about to do some shopping. But right before I do that, I must first remember what Dr. Anthony Fauci says, wear your masks. Get in line, folks. Thank you for waiting. Even in the pouring rain, Santa Clarita residents, like many people all around California, waited outside Costco and other stores in order to shop. Everywhere there is, like, it's just a bunch of lines. The COVID-19 pandemic and state of emergency caused this mother at Vallarta to stock up for quarantine. I want to be ready to have food at home for my kids just in case they do shut up the stores and close everything, all the businesses, since all the schools are already closed. Customers are lined up everywhere, parking lots are full, and shopping carts overflow with food. As of April 5th, there are more than 330,000 cases of coronavirus nationwide. Over 9,000 have died. Those who still must work don't have the luxury of shopping whenever they want. Yesterday when I got out of work, I passed through the stores and it was crazy chaotic. So this morning, me and my daughter woke up early and we've been to four different stores today. Her daughter also senses the panic around her. My dad's really worried. My mom, I just didn't want her to go alone to the stores because like I could just imagine like people, like everyone's getting like pounds of meat. You ain't coming inside unless you're waiting in line, folks. Governor Gavin Newsom has ordered a shelter in place for California residents, but there is plenty of food and supplies to go around. Reporting from Santa Clarita for Valley View News, I'm Sochi Hernandez. The Hildegard's first ever symposium took place at Colburn School of Music. The Hildegard's is a networking group for professional women in classical music. Stacy Brightman, vice president of LA Opera Connects department, said the symposium helps women gain power and opportunities in a male-dominated field. Great questions are being raised and, and a lot of encouragement is happening. We're having a lot of women giving each other phone numbers, giving each other our, our emails. Been deeply These women include conductors, professors, singers, and producers like Beth Morrison. She creates avant-garde work that reflects modern social issues. Composers like Juhi Bansal also share the importance of a woman's voice in the classical music industry. Working as a composer in Los Angeles, let's say even five years ago, I feel like it was a much different scene where there I didn't know at that point of any other composer who was female and a woman of color. With more women of color gracing the stages of LA Opera, the symposium addressed ways that art and narratives from multicultural women can create the change Bansal hopes to see. Hopefully when you hear the stories of how the other hundred women in the room have made it work, you can piece that together into something that resonates with you and helps you craft your own direction. In the fast-changing world of classical music, championing women artists and their stories provides the revolutionary voice necessary for the future of the industry. Reporting from Los Angeles for Valley View News, I'm Sochi Hernandez. Only the pouring rain can be heard throughout the empty halls of CSUN. On March 11th, CSUN said it was canceling in-person classes and events, but GradFest was the exception. Everyone wants a graduation ceremony. I'll put on some gloves. We can shake hands at the end and we can keep it pushing. The transition to online classes left many students disappointed that COVID-19 interrupted their studies. I want to be in person learning the same stuff like with my professor because I feel like I'll get more information. The COVID-19 crisis affects students in various ways. I work on campus, so if they close the whole campus, then some of us might not be getting paid. Students wear gloves while buying their caps and gowns. Now I got people flying in from different states to come see me graduate. I'll be the second person in my, well, third person after my sister to graduate. 
but all of these graduation dreams are deferred for now. CSUN postponed graduation until COVID-19 levels off. I wouldn't want to have to click a button on my computer and say, oh, I can graduate. I'm just saying. <laughs> my life will still continue no matter a virus or not. The rain has stopped, but the pandemic remains. So many college seniors are mourning the loss of their last semesters of college and postponed graduation ceremonies. But it is still important to practice self-isolation at home. Reporting from Northridge for Valley View News, I'm Sochi Hernandez. I bring my breakfast, lunch, and dinner in my lunchbox since I have super long days here and I save money by not buying food all the time. And I'll go show you my best friend and my companion, Sasha, who has gotten me to and from school all four years of my college my college degree. So, yeah. Hello, and I'm Sochi Hernandez reporting from Santa Clarita right here in front of Stater Brothers about to do some shopping. But right before I do that, I must first remember what Dr. Anthony Fauci says, wear your masks. Here at Stater Brothers, looks like there is a limit of only two milk per customer. And remember, whatever you touch, you buy. Just music and singing in general um, is just such a powerful tool. Like it's a language that supersedes like all languages and all barriers. Latin American countries like Argentina, Belize, Colombia, Cuba, Chile, Ecuador, Guatemala, Panama, Peru, Brazil, Uruguay, and Mexico were included in this research. U.S. researchers also split the U.S. into four groups, whites, African, Americans, Latinos, and Puerto Ricans. The quarantine Diamond Princess cruise ship has 65 new cases of coronavirus, bringing the infected number of people on board to 135. Dr. Anthony Fauci joined two other researchers to write an editorial about the challenges surrounding the COVID-19 virus. Well, if climate change doesn't scare you, maybe some movies will. I mean, I can't even watch scary movies. Amari, what about you? Me either. I always get a little scared they won't live up to my expectations. 